Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia today to lead Bahrain's delegation to the 42nd Summit of the Supreme Council of the GCC. Upon arrival, His Majesty the King was received by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Royal Highness's Princes and Ministers, the Director General of the GCC, Dr. Naif bin Falah Al Hajraf, and as well as the members of the Bahraini Embassy in Riyadh. Health. On the occasion, His Majesty the King made a statement upon arriving in Saudi Arabia in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, for the invitation to participate in the summit. He expressed pride in the brotherly relations between the two countries that are based on joint history, mutual destiny and common interests as well as the development and growth they witness at all levels, which makes it a model for integration and close interdependence. His Majesty affirmed that holding the summit is a vital opportunity for consultation and the exchange of opinions between their Majesties and their Highnesses, the leaders of the GCC countries, to contribute to supporting the march of joint Gulf work, maintaining their gains and achieving the aspirations of their people for further growth and prosperity. He also asserted uh, the uh, prominent role of the GCC in establishing security and stability in the region and the support of efforts efforts aimed at overcoming challenges and finding peaceful and comprehensive solutions for their issues and crises. His Majesty reiterated his appreciation and gratitude for the efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques in serving Gulf, Arab and Islamic causes. The strategic role of the summit in light of the challenges that the GCC countries face to become an important step in the Council's march and to achieve the aspirations of their people. The mission of honor included the minister of the mission of honor included the minister of commerce and acting minister of media, Dr. Majid bin Abdul Ilah Al Qasabi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has departed the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to lead Bahrain's delegation to the 42nd Summit of the Supreme Council of the GCC, taking place in Riyadh. His Majesty the King was bid farewell by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The official delegation accompanying His Majesty King Hamad are the following. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. Advisor to His Majesty the King for Diplomatic Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. Advisor to His Majesty the King for Media Affairs Nabil bin Yaqub Al Hamar. Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani. Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. Royal Protocols Chief Major General Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Fadala. Personal Secretary to His Majesty the King, Hamad bin Ali al Kabi, Chief of Staff of the BDF, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr al Naimi. Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed al Khalifa. And Royal Follow up Affairs Chief Air Advice Marshal Mohammed Abu Hussein al Musallam. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a Pfizer BioNTech booster shot. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of getting vaccinated and receiving a booster shot in order to best protect public health. He praised Team Bahrain's relentless mitigation efforts which have created a safe environment for both citizens and residents. His Royal Highness reiterated that an effective response to COVID-19 relies upon citizens and residents adhering to precautionary measures. He extended his appreciation to Team Bahrain's frontline health professionals and support staff who have upheld national mitigation efforts and safeguarded the health of the kingdom's citizens and residents. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs Chairman of the Board of Director of the Oil and Gas Holding Company, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the third board meeting. His Highness was briefed on the company's executive management plans after presiding over the company's management recently. He stated that the board and management's plans to raise productivity and preserve natural resources to achieve sustainability in the energy sector are in line with the Kingdom's Vision 2030. 
security. His Highness said that the company will promote investments and develop the energy sector, which is a major catalyst for economic growth, and these contributions achieve the aspirations of His Majesty the King. The board reviewed the report on the company's operations and discussed the developments of the infrastructure projects in order to support the national economy. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa inaugurated the Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa Health Center located in Al Hanania, Rifa'a. On this occasion, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah expressed thanks and appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for patronizing the inauguration of the center, which reflects the unlimited support the health sector in the kingdom receives from His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister which stems from the firm belief that health comes first. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah stated that that is fortunate that the inauguration of the center coincides with the celebrations of the national holidays, marking the establishment of the modern Bahraini state during the era of the founder Ahmed al-Fatih as an Arab Muslim state in 1783, and the anniversary of his Majesty's accession to the throne to come as a witness to the civilizational developmental achievements aimed at serving citizens and meeting their basic needs. He noted the policy of expanding the establishment of health centers with, while applying the highest international standards as they are the cornerstone of comprehensive health coverage. The Deputy Premier stated that the establishment of this health center and its inauguration today is one of the outcomes of the principles of partnership between the public and private sector through the implementation of various development projects of public interest, expressing appreciation for the generous support provided by Batilco in financing, furnishing and equipping this vital project. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to the Supreme Council for Health, headed by Lieutenant General Sheikh Mh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Health, and the uh, primary health care centers for the efforts of their members and following up on the establishment and implementation of these projects and other infrastructure projects in the healthcare sector. Lieutenant General uh, Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah delivered a speech in which he expressed his deep appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his generous patronage of the inauguration of the center. He stated that the primary health care self-management initiative is one of the most important initiatives of the health insurance program and primary health care is the main stay of health services in Bahrain. In this regard, the chairman of the Supreme Council for Health extended his sincere thanks to the Ministry of Health, the Board of Trustees of the Primary Health Care Centers and all its affiliates for their cooperation and tireless efforts to inaugurate this project in an integrated manner. The Representatives Council held its weekly meeting chaired by its speaker, Fawzia Zainal. The council approved a draft law amending a number of provisions of the municipality's law and a draft law amending Article 20 of the same law. The council also approved a proposal amending Article 1 of Decree by Law 10 of the year 1976 on housing. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs expressed congratulations to His Majesty the King, to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister, to the Royal Family and the Government and the people of the Kingdom of Bahrain on the occasion of the National Day and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The Council recalled with pride the civilized achievements and national successes of the Kingdom, the keenness of the leadership and the determination and loyalty of its people. In its regular session chaired by Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin 
Hassan Rashid Al Khalifa, the council expressed its wishes for the Kingdom of Bahrain for continued progress and prosperity. On the occasion of Commemoration Day, the council recalled with appreciation the sincere role and great sacrifices made by Bahrain's fallen servicemen for the sake of the country's security and safety. He also expressed congratulations on the occasion of Bahraini Police Day, praising the sincere patriotic efforts made by the Ministry of Interior's employees in maintaining security and stability in the kingdom. The council then wished their majesties and highnesses and leaders of the GCC success in the 42nd editing of the Supreme Council of the GCC. After that, the Council welcomed the convening of the next periodic meeting of the Council of Muslim Elders and its approval of holding the next edition of the East-West Dialogue Initiative in Manama. The Council then listened to a brief presentation by the Chairman on the results of this meeting on, the last, on his last meeting with the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar Al-Sharif and the topics of the meeting relating to various Islamic issues, expressing his pride in the close historical relations that bind it with Al-Azhar Al-Sharif. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa on behalf of the Interior Ministry's affiliates congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the national celebration. The festivities aim to revive the memory of modern Bahrain founded in the era of the founder Ahmed Al Fatah and His Majesty's accession to the throne. The Minister delivered a speech to mark the Bahrain Police Day in the presence of officials and the Ministry's officers. ببالغ الفخر والاعتزاز أن أرفع باسمي ونيابة عنكم وكافة منسوبي وزارة الداخلية أسمى آيات التهاني وأخلص التبريكات إلى مقام سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى حفظه الله ورعاه وإلى صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء الموقر حفظه الله ورعاه بمناسبة احتفالات مملكة البحرين بأعيادها الوطنية إحياء لذكرى قيام الدولة البحرينية الحديثة في أحد المؤسس أحمد الفاتح وذكرى تولي سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه مقاليد الحكم وفي ظل هذه المناسبات الوطنية يأتي يوم شرطة البحرين الذي نفخر به ونعتز فيه بالرسالة السامية التي نتشرف بالنهوض بها والتضحية في أدائها فأمن الوطن وسلامته غاية سامية تستحق التضحيات نسطر خلالها عهدا متجددا من الولاء لقائد مسيرة العطاء والإنجاز سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلال الملك المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه مستلهمين العزيمة وقوة الإرادة من توجيهات جلالته محافظين على العهد بأن تبقى البحرين آمنة بإذن الله يسودها السلام والتسامح والتعايش معبرين عن اعتزازنا بما تلقاه شرطة البحرين من دعم ومساندة واهتمام من صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء الموقر حفظه الله ورعا وفي يوم شرطة البحرين تبدو حقائق الأمن والاستقرار علامة على حيوية الوطن وتماسك فما نعيشه من استقرار أمني ولله الحمد يؤكد صدق التوجه ونجاح المسيرة في المضي قدما نحو غدا مشرق يؤمن حياة كريمة على هذه الأرض ولعل تراجع معدل الجريمة اليوم وتحقيق معدلات غير مسبوقة في مكافحتها رغم التحديات الأمنية المعقدة يؤكد أن مملكة البحرين آمنة ومستقرة وعلى الطريق الصحيح طالما هناك رجال صدقوا ما عهدوا الله عليه 
ووضعوا ولاءهم لجلالة الملك وسامًا على صدورهم وعقيدةً في قلوبهم وضحوا وما زالوا لينعم الجميع بالأمان والطمأنينة في ظل التزام المواطنين الشرفاء بمسؤولياتهم تجاه وطنهم من خلال الشراكة المجتمعية البناءة التي تمثل ركيزة أساسية في حفظ أمن الوطن وصون المنجزات الوطنية الأخوة العزة إن ملامح مسرح العمليات الأمنية المعاصرة تفرض علينا تطوير استراتيجيتنا الأمنية تنظيما وتجهيزا وتدريبا وإن هذا التطوير في الأداء الأمني يجب أن يستند إلى تحديث المنهجية الأمنية التي تسهم في زيارة كفاءة العمل المؤسسي وتعزيز التنافسية بين إدارات الوزارة ومنسوبيها في إطار الحرص على تبني المهارات الأمنية الحديثة وتقديم أفضل الخدمات وأكثرها تميزاً تماشياً مع رؤية مملكة البحرين 2030 الهادفة إلى زيادة الإنتاجية وتعزيز الابتكار في إطار المنافسة الدولية وإنه بفضل الرؤى الملكية السامية وتأصيلاً لسجل مملكة البحرين المشرف في حقوق الإنسان فإن البحرين تعتز بما أنجزته في برنامج العقوبات البديلة وتبنيها برنامج مراكز الإصلاح والسجون المفتوحة كمشروع وطني وحضاري وإنساني يستهدف تطوير منظومة العدالة الجنائية مما يؤكد تعاملنا بفعالية مع التحديات المستقبلية من خلال التركيز على مجتمعنا وعلى هويتنا الوطنية الأخوة والأخوات الأعزاء منسوبي وزارة الداخلية سيظل الرابع عشر من ديسمبر من كل عام يوماً لتحية عطائكم والاعتزاز بإخلاصكم وتضحياتكم في حفظ أمن الوطن فلكم جميعاً التحية في يوم شرطة البحرين وصادق التمنيات بدوام التوفيق حفظ الله البحرين وأدام عليها نعمة الأمن في ظل قيادة سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلال الملك المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Under the patronage of the President of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, HSBC Bank inaugurated today solar system-equipped parking spaces. Dr. Mirza praised the role of the leadership in supporting the SEA, which reflects their strong faith in the importance of its role in empowering, empowering the energy sector to be the source of economic diversity that would lead to achieving sustainable development goals. This move will reduce energy consumption by 67% and will achieve the Kingdom's aspirations in enhancing the energy sector. The oil minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, has inaugurated the bottom of the barrel and catalyst technology conference. The two day conference brings together CEOs of oil companies, members of Gulf and international oil companies, experts, engineers, and specialists in oil industries from around the world. In a statement, Sheikh Mohammed stressed that the energy sector in Bahrain is witnessing continuous growth in light of the support and care of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He affirmed that this support enhances the role of the sector in serving the national economy and supporting Bahrain's efforts in achieving sustainable development goals. He added that Bahrain's hosting of the conference is within the framework of its interest in exchanging expertise and experiences on the most important technological developments in this field. He said that this is highly significant as traditional refining methods are no longer the only source of profits and there is a global trend to enhance ways to benefit from fuel oil 
as one of the sources of energy with a promising future. The minister said that in today's downstream industry, many new challenges and opportunities are faced with changing markets and they drive towards greater sustainability. Well, the bottom of the battle conference has been going on for a number of years. It talks about uh, the importance of refining technologies, upgrading your uh, uh, refined products into what uh, the current market standards require, converting low value, uh, bottom of the barrel uh, flows into higher value products like diesel and jet fuel. And of course, Babco is in the final stage of completing its uh, mega project. It will add an important unit called the LC Finer. Uh, that converts bottom of the barrel into very high value products like diesel uh, and others uh, and of course further conversion in the future uh, as well and this is what the conference is all about and meeting all the new uh, environmental regulations uh, increasing efficiencies and preparing for uh, future energy requirements of the world global markets Following the Royal Directive to provide 40,000 housing units and the Directive of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to distribute 2,000 housing units, the Ministry of Housing took all preparations necessary to distribute the units before the end of this month. The Minister of Housing Engineer Basim al Hamar has affirmed that this is an achievement for the Kingdom during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King and affirms the keenness of the government led by His Royal Highness to provide housing units to citizens. He affirmed that this project aims to meet the aspirations of the citizens and is in line with the vision of the leadership and is also in line with the economic recovery plan. The Saudi Foreign Minister, His Highness uh, Prince uh, Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah Al Saud, received the former Bahraini Ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and praised his efforts in strengthening the bilateral relations following orders from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The minister conferred on Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa a sash of the second class for his efforts in bolstering joint ties, wishing him success and his future duties. The ambassador expressed his gratitude and appreciation to the Saudi king for granting him the tash of the late King Abdulaziz. He stressed the Kingdom of Bahrain's pride in its solid brotherly relations with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its continued aspirations to enhance relations at all levels. Following the directives of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the GSA held its first Sports Council monthly meeting in the presence of the CEO of the GSA, Dr. Abdurrahman Askar, and a number of senior officials. Dr. Askar conveyed to the audience the greetings of His Highness Sheikh Khalid and affirmed that the GSA is keen on opening its doors to all sports bodies in the kingdom. He affirmed that uh, this meeting is an opportunity opportunity to discuss sports topics in Bahrain and exchange ideas to develop the sector. The meeting also included discussions of topics that enhance the relations between federations and clubs. Bahrain has condemned the launch of a ballistic missile by the terrorist Houthi militia on Khamis Amshet in Saudi Arabia in flagrant violation of international humanitarian law. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs in a statement commended the efficiency and vigilance of the Saudi Arabian air defenses in destroying the ballistic missile and confirmed Bahrain's support to all the security measures Saudi Arabia takes to maintain its security, stability and safety of citizens and residents.